the biggest entrepreneur platform on the planet. This is Business Rockstars. My guest today is Gary Cohn, co-founder at Luxury Travel Hackers. He sat on the board of Verge Media and advised as a specialist in content creation, where he learned how the two can work together to maximize marketing and profit. Luxury Travel Hackers leverages social influence and content for travel booking by filming story-driven content in luxury and experiential travel hosted by influencers shared to social media, where you're just one click away from booking the vacation you just watched on Instagram. Gary and I talk about the highs and lows of starting a business, his entrepreneurial journey, and all about luxury travel hackers. If you're interested in influencer marketing, this interview is a must watch for you. Enjoy. Gary, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey and what led you to start this business. My entrepreneurial journey, I, I, I wouldn't say that I'm really a serial entrepreneur, although I've always sort of sang to my, my own tune, you know, my whole life growing up ever since I was a kid, and, which is kind of an entrepreneurial um, uh, trait. Um, you know, I was in the film business before this. I was a, a film and TV producer for the last 25 years. And it, this whole thing kind of started about six years ago. I was uh, invited to work in the Twitter incubator for a couple of weeks. And I, I had this, uh, I had this real fascination with content and technology and kind of where they were going to intersect, which really kind of started me on my journey with this uh, uh, company. And so, you know, after doing an additional two or three years of research and development, it just became painfully obvious to me that this was something that I needed to pursue. So I gave up my old career temporarily and my old paycheck and, uh, and, st and, and went down this road. You left the comfortable life and you kind of went into a new disruptive path. For those who are not familiar, what is Luxury Travel Hack? Yeah, so um, what we do in a nutshell is we produce travel content with influencers and we make vacations bookable via social media. You know, we found that the pain point was really that 80% of all travelers are choosing their next vacation on social media, but, you know, no one's leveraging that influence and that content for booking. And so we saw an avenue about how to make that scalable. And that's how it all started. It's so true. Back in the day when I did travel, uh, the first thing I would do is I'd go on Instagram, I'd look up the hotel, I would check out what people were doing, and that's kind of just exactly what you guys are doing. Um, what was the first step you took after you realized you were really serious about starting this business? I mean, the first step I took was raising, you know, some seed investment, you know, and uh, which I did really quickly. That happened like you know, within 30 days, I did, you know, a small seed round, and then I put a bunch of my own money into it. And so it was sort of looking from the beginning, like, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be easy. I mean, I had, you know, a little more than, you know, a concept and a rinky deck that I was kind of shopping around for that seed investment. And so I thought, well, raising money is going to be easy. I have since learned otherwise. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have any tips for entrepreneurs yeah. who are going through a seed round or who are bootstrapping their business? I mean, you know, they say friends and family, you know, I mean, if you have, you know, but, you know, the, interestingly enough, the statistics show that you're 75% less likely to get money from, from your friends and family than you are from an angel investor. If you're not already someone who's been a successful you know, uh, entrepreneur. So, but, you know, I, <laughs> I, I ended up doing an accelerator program, which was just the best thing I ever did because as good as I think I am in the, in the areas which I think could, you know, needed to make this company successful, mm -hmm. uh, there's such a learning curve I had to do around, you know, business and raises and understanding, you know, everything that goes into that and so the the um yeah the accelerator program was just essential and walk us through what someone can expect when they go to luxury travel hackers they go onto your website tell us about the process of how they can choose their next adventure 
Yeah, so the user experience will be this. We will capture our audience as followers and they're gonna love us, they're gonna love our influencers and and you know, you're gonna see the you know 10 day Japan trip in a short form version of exactly what that trip is going to look like on our social media and so from there you'll be able to you know swipe up or click through and then it takes you directly to the site where you can then book that trip and then do you also have a membership aspect to the business yeah we are introducing a membership model so it's going to be i think a three or four tier membership model and that just gives people access to you know private destinations and you know exclusive you know, events and, and things that, you know, private concierge, like all, all of that kind of stuff. And so, yeah. Amazing. Um, how have you had to pivot luxury travel hackers as obviously the world is changing? A lot of people aren't traveling right now. Um, how have you kind of had to pivot your business? Yeah. So we were, you know, we're, we're technically a pre-launch company. Um, and although we started taking revenue, we're doing our, our launch in um, June of this year. Um, but obviously, you know, the pivot was, you know, right before COVID, I was starting to raise money and that obviously tabled that. Um, what we were able to do this year, which was really great, was to pivot how we know the world is going to be changing when travel opens up. And that gave us a real big opportunity to do that, to adjust our, our technology um, and adjust, you know, what we're going to market with, you know, the types of trips we're going to market with, which is going to be all, you know, U.S. destinations and, and uh, road trip type stuff, um, you know, at launch. And so, you know, that was the, the big pivot. The interesting thing is, you know, as unfortunate as what happened in the world is, it actually has put our company in a better position than if it never happened. And that's because our, our, our um, model's disruptive, um, it's new, it's interesting. And I just think that there's, you know, coming on the backside of COVID, you know, there's just so much room for innovation in travel. Absolutely. And how many countries have you been to personally? Maybe 60 or 70. Wow. What has yeah. been your favorite travel destination? India, for sure. I, I, uh, I went to India. I was, you know, normally, you know, in the film business, what I did is I would work for six or eight months of the year and then travel the rest of the year. And so I went to India and I rode a motorcycle around the entire continent for three months. And it was just, it was just the most fascinating thing I think I've ever done. You had an eat, pray, love journey on your own. <laughs> completely. completely. Um, and tell us about the different verticals that you have. You have wellness, family, food, so on and so forth. Yeah, so our influencer, so we, we have, you know, a specific influencer that's a brand ambassador for that specific vertical. And, you know, we're still scaling them as we go. But, you know, like now we have, you know, our main luxury person who's Lena. We have a family influencer. They do, you know, their husband and wife and three kids and they do all of our family trips. Um, we we have an adventure person, he'll do all of our adventure trips, uh, you know, and then we're going to bring on a wellness person, you know, LGBTQ, you know, handy capable, foodie. And so, you know, just verticals that are centered around specific types of travel that people like to do. I love it. And you're appealing to all the audiences, which is great. Um, what advice do you have for someone who wants to start a business, but they're scared or they don't know what the first step to take is? I mean, I'd say if if you're scared before you start, maybe you shouldn't start. Right. <laughs> the fear that you're going to have down the line is, is just, you know, it's, you have to be, I think you have to understand your why. I think you have to be pulled to something because if you constantly feel like you're pushing a rock up a hill, you'll quit, you know? Um, and it, it just takes, you know, an, a tremendous amount of tenacity you know, and it's like, you know, every hurdle you, you get to, you're like, okay, there's another hurdle. Like we had, you know, we were obviously coming on the backside of COVID and, and the vaccine's not released, you know, when we were raising, it was like, it was like, that was the rock. And then when we started to get our round, which is halfway filled now, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. Now we have a deadline that we got to try to meet, you know, for the summer to take advantage of the trip, you know, so there's always this sort of like, next hurdle and i think that if you have the ability to just sort of you know have a lot of faith and and just let things roll off you i think it's essential i think that taking good care of good care of yourself is essential 
Um, I'm, I tend to just be an insane workaholic. I'll work 20 hours a day. And if I'm not taking care of my mind, body, and spirit, I'm, I'll, I'm going to go crazy. It's so true. And it's so easy to do now when everyone's stuck at home or confined to a hotel room or something, just work, work, work. Um, And what would you say the biggest challenge um, was or is that you're facing as you're growing luxury travel hackers? I mean, it's always fundraising. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, that's always the biggest challenge. I, you know, for me, based on my film experience and running productions and consulting for almost every, you know, major studio and network, you know, as a fixer, like challenges are, you know, those kind of operational challenges are are easy for me. Um, You know, I I, I have, you know, 25 years of that skill set. But, you know, it's, you know, keeping the doors open and, and, uh, and raising money, which you're always doing in some capacity, I think is the biggest challenge. And with luxury travel hackers, when someone books their trip, uh, is there also an option to have you help them figure out what to do on their trip? Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll do any bespoke experience, you know, and, and tailor any trip specifically to what somebody wants to do. And, the, you know, the interesting thing that we're doing on the technology side is we're going to slowly be removing the human element from that experience. And so, you know, you're going to be able to, you know, our users are going to be able to create their own experience based on a, on a drag and drop system. So, like, you know, if you are interested in Japan, you'll, you know, oh, let's do three days in Tokyo and let's do two days in Hakone and three days in Kyoto and let's do this cooking class and let's have a guide in this city. And you can basically create a timeline, you know, of your trip um, and then just stick it in a cart and check out. And so that's, that's kind of where we're going as a company is to kind of, you know, solve a lot of those, you know, uh, 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 problems and, and you know, remove the human element or have the human element as an option moving forward. That's very cool. If you could go back in time and give yourself a piece of advice um, before starting Luxury Travel Hackers, what would you tell yourself? I would say be prepared for an emotional ride, Gary. <laughs> and I would say that um, every, most of everything that you worry about never happens. <laughs> so yeah, stop, stop worrying um, and just, you know, keep the faith and keep good energy and, and do the right thing. You know, I think that's, you know, um, that's what I would say to myself. I love it. Um, where can people learn more about you? Where can people learn more about Luxury Travel Hackers? You know, our website is up. It's, you know, www.luxurytravelhackers.com, not Luxury Travel Hacks. It's hackers, uh, plural, um, dot com. And that's where, you know, you can see kind of what we're building and you can see uh, uh, some of our content on there. And then all, all our social media is luxury travel hackers. We're, you know, starting to scale that and launch that. We're in the beginning phases of that right now. But yeah, that's, and then obviously LinkedIn, you know, Gary Cohn. <laughs> I'm so excited to see where luxury travel hackers is in the future. And I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your time, Brittany. Thanks, Gary.